Did I say it right? So Sorry, are you. you. Yes, you did. Oh my God, I did. You okay. It. You we were it. having full-on debates about this. Listen, it's a it's a big it's a controversial name. Yeah, it's very stress-inducing <laughs> for a lot of people. How they was don't... it growing up and everyone trying to pronounce your name? Right, like, it's just sorry you. Yeah, I did a lot of like just think sorry you, yeah. you know, and like that kind of stuff. And I still do that. And then it's gotten better. I think people get really stressed. They're like, is it Sarah? You? you right. Is it Sarah? You? Like, where do I go with this? And yes. there's a lot of directions. <laughs> And here we are talking about your brand new show. Yes. I feel bad. Yes. And I had a chance to see it, and I absolutely adore you. Here's what every woman knows. We feel bad about something every day. Like sometimes, I cheat on my husband in my sleep. You had that dream again, didn't you? Because you know what? Even though I'm not a mom, yeah. I just, I feel for you. I understand that, one, it's already hard enough for women, right? And we're always trying to be perfect, and I feel like... Yep. In the show, we get to see you trying to be the perfect mother, the perfect partner, perfect coworker, right. perfect everything. Is it possible to even achieve all of those accolades? Oh gosh, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I and haven't. you're a mom in real life. I'm not. You're not? I'm not a mom. Oh in my real gosh. Life. Does it make you not want to have kids now? Oh gosh, you know what? No. I I, oh, I nice. love kids. Yeah. But but it is one of those things where it's like, yeah, the stress part of it scares me. Like I yes. do feel like, yeah, exactly. I do feel like I don't think I'd be very cool, you know? I think I'd be kind of like try a lot like Emmett. I think I'd be like I'd want to be cool. I'd want to be the like buddy mom, but I'm pretty sure I'd be terrified and stressed out and controlling and you know all the terrible stuff. I remember watching this part where you know there's this conversation of us turning into our parents. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were your mother. What? You remind me of her sometimes, just in how you look and sound and act and where you carry your weight. And there it is. And I don't want to believe I'm going to be my mom. But your character on the show basically is her mom. Yeah. I remember one time one of my friends saying to me, you just got to make peace with it, girl. You just got to know it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And granted, again, I'm not a mom, but I am a wife. And I do hear certain things come out, coming out of my mouth. And I'm like, oh, that's my mom. <sighs> also, I love you, mom. It, it really does happen without you even realizing it, I think. The other thing I will say, though, is there are parts of my mom I'm so glad I finally have gotten. Sure. Because right. she is a badass. Yeah. Like, she is one tough lady. Of and course. I. I'm still scared of her. Now, on the show, I also love that, you know, you're in a interracial marriage. Thank you. I love that as well. I'm actually in one in real life. Oh, in real life. You know, they okay. do happen. That's it's the craziest thing. I know. It's revolutionary. <laughs> no, it's really exciting to get to be part of a show that shows that and that that's just part of it. Like, it's not necessarily um, a big political statement. Right. I mean, I think it is on some level just right. because, but also on top of it, it's just like, this is life. This is just... This is regular. This is actually just regular. Comedy is a great uh, vehicle for stuff like this, because right. you, especially with cross-cultural, there's some great comedic opportunities. So I have a feeling it'll be part of storylines just inherently. And even just in the pilot, you see Mother Joffrey. Yeah. And like, <laughs> she's... She's the one who plays my mom, and she's extraordinary. And she brings the specificity to it that is such an Indian mom, yes. while at the same time, it's so everyone's mom. Absolutely. And that's the great part about it, is it's, it's for everyone, and it's specific at the same time. How is it for you being a wife and a working, you know, full-on force, yes. focus on your career woman in Hollywood? How's that balance? I mean, I think that's what's so great about the show, right? right? Is that, like... This sort of idea of having it all is one of the cruelest messages you can put out there. Like, stop. Yes. No one should feel that way. Right. Like, it's time for everyone to be like, you know what? I want to do this, and that's enough. Yeah. I need a nap. Yeah. You know, like, take the nap. Which is why so many women feel bad, which is why I love the title, I Feel Bad. I know. And I feel moms go through this guilt, this mom guilt. All the time. All the time. All day long. Because it's this constant battle of, like, either be a good mom or be good at work or be a good wife. It's really hard to do everything at once. Most of us are human and can only handle so much at once. Now, Amy Poehler, executive producing. I know. I Did you, okay, so first off, I mean, I'm assuming that right when you hear that, you're just like, yes, sign me up, I'm in. Good to yes, go. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think that it's a pretty automatic, I mean, she's just an absolute genius. She's an incredible human, like yeah. she's, funny and kind and wants everyone to just 
do whatever it takes for everyone to succeed and do well. You know, it's like the best work environment ever. It's a win. Such a win, a win, and I'm so honored that I get to be part of it. Like, That's so like, wonderful. Thrill. Thank you so much for coming Thank by. you. Of it's course. been such a pleasure talking Thank with you. Thank you so much.